It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Um, uh, now, we've got a lot going on, including a discussion about passion killers in the bedroom. Oh, sure. sure. Based on a survey of uh, more than 2,000 people. Um, some of these are a little too um, um, uh, graphic for air. But, uh, the, Come the, the, on. We're all adults. Yeah. Uh, well, Dev, uh, well, a couple of them are kind of interesting to me. Uh, I think this one will go either way. I turn off for some women is that he wants to watch porno during intimate activities. God. Porn. Um, I think that that probably goes both. I think there are probably some that would enjoy that. Um, hmm. Others perhaps would not. I've never had that, but have you ever had just a casual hangout? The TV is on. Things get a little heavy. They get a little too heavy. The TV is on, and you have to stop. And watch what's on TV? No, because you can't focus because oh. there's an I Am's commercial or whatever it is. Yeah. And you've got to oh. stay in the zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or there's an IMS commercial and you immediately and you like arrive. Dogs. <laughs> well, well, I guess this has to happen every time now. Oh. I, I see a Bernie's Mountain Dog. It's over. Looks well, like I'll be volunteering at the Humane Society <laughs> every day. <laughs> has anyone ever called you a dog? I didn't mean that. No, I meant <laughs> other turn uh, other turnoffs for ladies. He always wants it when he's drunk. Yeah. Well. Um, uh, yeah. A and, snake and, needs feed. <laughs> <laughs> a popular theme in country music. Uh, okay. <laughs> it sure is. Permission to come aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? Anything at all? <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> Tom, what would you do? You see a lady. Now, use your imagination. You see a lady across. You, know, you walk up to him and you go, hey, uh, I'm Tom Griswold. You know, I could, I could. <laughs> Say hi to you tomorrow morning on the air. Or something like that. Oh, oh, never oh, happened. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. never happened. You've never used that line? Are you sure? That would never happen. That's you want to hear your name on the radio, Ben? Good line. Want to win some concert tickets? Write a, song, yeah. write a song about you, baby. That's right, baby. He doesn't do that. He has one of the little girls walk up to him discreetly and say, Daddy, can you say my name on the radio tomorrow? And they do the rest in their head. That's when the work comes in. Oh, okay, very good. Very good. That, here's a turn off. Um, For you. She takes one of those FaceTime calls. Yes. You know, from her mom. You know, well, I, uh, who in the well, world would do that? What does her mom look like? <laughs> <laughs> this is, I'm, not, I'm not talking about myself personally. Is that, is that Gloria? <laughs> hey, tell her I said, hey. <laughs> you me, better have that stuffing, that famous stuffing. Yeah. Thing, oh, Gloria. Let me cover this thing. <laughs> Speaking of stuffing. I need a it. towel. <laughs> okay. You ever uh, seen your daughter from this angle? Hey, yeah. Oh. Okay, now let's, uh, let's move She's got forward. your boobs. <laughs> she should get what checked? Uh, no. <laughs> Permission uh, to come aboard! Top five passion killers for women. He checks his phone during sex, making sex like a porn movie and talking dirty. Having pets in the bedroom, moving to penetration too quickly, talks about <laughs> sex with other lovers, makes it clear they've cheated. The five mood killers for men... She wants to make love the same way every time. Boring. My partner never initiates sex. Boring. Lazy. Big granny panties. Ugh. She admits to cheating on her lovers. Oh. I mean, she's I, I, more interested in her phone the, than me. Do you think the granny panties thing is that big of a deal? Well, no, they're they're not not anyway. Godwin. Very no. much so. They're they're not not much so anyway. huh? She cares? takes uh, she takes no. her pants down and you see the granny panties. I don't and, like it. And what You're do you out? say, I Pat? <laughs> I would think you'd be having Thanksgiving. No joke. No, no, no. Hey, if I play my cards right, no, 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 no. now that those are off, this may go well. Even if you've been in a long relationship, no. does it turn you off? I don't care for them. Oh. I like a hint of cheek. Pat, if you want to get a woman into bed uh, and you're hanging out and the guitar's there, what song would you oh. try to serenade her with oh, to boy. really get? Now, first of all, you're assuming that it's not on the pawn shop. <laughs> The old panty dropper. Oh, well, yeah. my go-to was Circle City, my own song that was a regional hit uh, back in the early 80s. In, 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 the, in the region of his apartment. Yeah, you know what? I can just of, hear him setting can it you, up. Can you play a little bit of it for us? Of Circle City? Yeah, sure. You, have a good you know, this was a regional hit. Uh, so how would you talk to her before you brought this up? Very softly. Well. <laughs> yeah, no, let's, just, let's just get in that. Let's put ourselves in that space. Uh, Christy, you need to be the girl in this situation. I'm sorry. That you oh, okay. Do. Right. Christy, I wrote this when I was going through a really tough time. I oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. 
throw the seed <laughs> among the stone. Oh, God. Well, hang on, we'll throw the what? what? Seed. seed. You, you're the throwing seed, seed out? Throw the seed. You know, like it's corn. A, it's a biblical or reference. Flowers. It's poetic. Oh, this is not, this is not like is seed. DNA. This is not like <laughs> semen. Yeah, you're not <laughs> multiple migs in around the table. <laughs> this, is pan, this is panty dropper. Uh-huh. This is your song, huh? Actually, go ahead. Start at the beginning. Oh. Throw the seed <laughs> among the stone. <laughs> and watch how wild it's grown. <laughs> Tough and twisted. Something's missing. And it shows. So is it was what's growing out of stones? What kind of seeds? Gross. Johnny Loud won <laughs> loads of fun. No. What? Who? Who'd have thought he'd be the one? Did you write this? <laughs> to be drowning no more. No one steals this. To be drowning <laughs> no more clowning. Throw him a line. Who's Johnny? I have no this idea. Is like some guy in a Bruce Springsteen song. character in the song. song. But there's no one on the beach. Did you I'm say it sorry, was a but I'm bored. I've got to no go. No one I have a in the really boat. Good. The door's locked. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Too tired to flow. The key's hidden in my pants. No. Yeah. <laughs> All the lifeguards left their chair. This was a regional hit, bitch. This is. <laughs> anybody there. You know, I'm sure that your day job is paying better, but um. Do you know what a treat this Here is? In Circle City tonight. Yes. What the hell the is that? Bedroom is this right makes over. no sense. Sure ain't looking pretty <laughs> here in Circle City tonight. Who's Johnny? I have no idea. Jo- Who's Johnny? Johnny is she all said. of us, Tom. Who's Johnny? Uh, Who's Johnny? Is Johnny, is Johnny, Johnny Everyman? <laughs> that was the go-to. <laughs> Johnny Sixpack. Or a Beatles song, you know. He used to work on the dock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Johnny did work on the dock. Now, that song is very good. Thanks. It's very good. You know, the, the melody's fine. It's just the lyrics are awful. <laughs> you know, you examine a Steely Dan song, what are you going to say? You're going to make fun of that? too. <laughs> Bad sneakers and a pina colada. You're going to make fun of uh, Fagan. It was a beautiful those, those song, those sir, songs. but I really do Poetry have to go. is what it was when oh, we were 22. Pronounce, you pronounce that Fagan. I do. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, we, could, we could fix that. There's no fixing it. That no. was, it, it was a hit. He said the floodgates well, opened uh, for Play the first played, couple lines right? again for me. Sure. Okay, well, I'll just we'll go right off the bat. All right. So all right. You're trying to get this girl to... Uh, Let's see what Tom knows. Okay. Throw the seed mm-hmm. among the stones. Throw seed among the stones. Okay. And watch how wild it's grown. Okay. Um, um, what what rhymes with gotten, Josh? Rotten. Cotton. Okay. Um, <laughs> cotton might be better. <laughs> okay, now. Go ahead and play it from the beginning. Through the Throw sea. This song <laughs> may sound rotten. <laughs> Have you seen how hard I've gotten? <laughs> you know what? That's Remove not that cotton <laughs> so we can get See, to business. This way, we're getting, <laughs> no, in your pants. Josh and I are getting right to the point. <laughs> yeah. You got to. Uh, job well done. <laughs> Pat, we were discussing um, your uh, CPAP machine. Mm-hmm. CPAPy. And uh, the fact <laughs> that Okay, get... how is that not just as funny as anything? <laughs> I, I giggled. I giggled. C-pappy. What do you want to get from him? CPAPy. Gord Riddens. CPAPy. Same joke. <laughs> CPAPy do what? <laughs> C- CPAPy. Oh, yeah. Grandpappy help, Amos. Help, help Pat breathe. Now, um, uh-huh. we had a suggestion here, Pat. That uh, because as uh, is, it has been established that Mr. Godwin has a uh, a so-called girlfriend. I know that's not the best term because she is an adult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is she? Make that clear. Well, if you say lady friend, it sounds yeah. even weirder. And lover sounds a little too. I like it. Would this I don't show, want a lover. You think this show would be like an hour and a half if you talked like a normal person? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We've never. You guys have never been asked to be on for four hours. No. Uh-uh. That's just, just how it happens. It just takes that long. <laughs> yes. Uh, Boy, no, that God. is the smartest thing you've ever said. Well, in uh, any case, I should uh, digress and... Uh, <laughs> and uh, now, by digress, I mean... Well, I mean, we could be entertained by... by we could be entertained by chicks' could, fart noises. I could be. However... I'm not going to sink that low. <laughs> <laughs> So where are uh, we going with this? Well, we got a letter, a couple of them this morning, saying that uh, Pat, <laughs> Pat, Pat has been... Uh, I can't follow that. No, uh, been, it's funny. ...been mocked about his... Uh, his CPAP machine, uh-huh. and you have a very nice song about it, about uh, making love uh, while wearing your CPAP machine. Well, uh, I, this is a work in progress. You had the guy that wrote the email said that he actually does that yes. for fun, and I imagined uh, what would it be like if he did it by accident. Yeah. 
It was early morning, she was looking so fine, yeah. <laughs> and all I had was loving on my mind. But I was unaware that my CPAP mask was strapped to my face while I was stroking that ass. Oh, can we do it, baby? I know it's 6 a.m. We made love last night. Can we make love again? She said, yes. <laughs> Take me from behind. But we never knew for quite some time. I was getting busy with my CPAP on. <laughs> Mask on my face thinking I'm Don Juan. But I looked like an alien in the dark before dawn. Making love, making love. <laughs> with my CPAP on. She said, you're breathing heavy. That's so hot. I sounded like Darth Vader, cause I forgot. She turned around, let out a gasp when she saw me in my CPAP mask. Yeah. Doggy style with my CPAP on, my black eye mask and my red long johns. Yeah, <laughs> must look like a superhero that she came upon. I can't believe she loved it with my CPAP on. Making love with my CPAP on. <laughs> Surprised she liked it with my CPAP on. It's a fade out. <laughs> now it's every night as I stifle a yawn. She says, do me, baby. Oh, <laughs> with your CPAP on. Studio fade. CPAP on. Oh. She really likes it with the CPAP on. Reverse cowgirl with my CPAP on. I'm Pappy. The spokesman for CPAP. Oh, Pappy. <laughs> you know, some folks like it in the butt. <laughs> With your CPAP on in the butt. Thank you, Pappy. No. Always informative. Well, and you are Pappy. on today. Put it We're in getting the Tom Cruise okay. Put it in my butt. Uh, you know, this, we got this letter from, no. from this young lady named Heather saying she, she, likes, likes, the, she likes having the spaceman thing going with oh, her right. man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, time for us uh, to uh, pull up the covers, turn down the lights, what? get some sexy music because oh. it's yeah. oh. sexy oh. time with oh. Allie Breen. <laughs> and uh, oh, hey, Allie. Hi, Allie. Okay, wouldn't that be turn down the covers? Oh, yeah. yeah. What did I say? Turn, so up. turn up. Oh. Well, uh, that's how Tom does it. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Lights <laughs> off, covers over. Cover st start off with the Dutch oven. <laughs> 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 to set the mood. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he uh, makes love like he's oh. hiding from a monster. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, let's get to our letters and see if we can help those out there in love. Dear Allie, every time I go out with my girlfriend with a group of friends, she turns it into a tribunal about our fights. She'll bring up an argument we had and make them decide who's right or wrong. She acts like she's doing it in fun, but it's super annoying and uncomfortable for everyone. <laughs> I keep asking her to stop, but it keeps happening. I've had friends do this. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oof. It is awkward. Oh, I, she's, I think she's trying to establish some kind of dominance over you, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Ganging and up on you. It's got to yeah. be some sort of insecurity, and yeah. that's how it shows itself. It has to be. She shouldn't keep doing it. I think once is kind of a, you know, whatever. If it was a good argument. Bobby's Funny. upset because I set his car on fire. What a dick. Don't you agree? Yeah. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> it's fine. Jerk. Calling yeah. the backup. But yeah, she shouldn't be doing it every time. Then it's annoying. So that's when you just start saying something bad about her to her friends. Like, yeah, she was actually saying that you the other day were um you know I'm trying to think of something like you slept with so-and-so you know kind of give up on the gossip hmm. spill the tea you know what i don't think friends? you should go down to her level yeah, i think no. she's, don't feed the not. fire right i think she's proving to everybody what kind of person she is and you end up kind of looking like a, a winner here and th when they when those two walk away their friends are probably like god do you believe he puts up with that you know, i know how to end the yeah. arguments break up Next. Yeah, I mean, that is one way. <laughs> there you go. That's what all the friends should just say. They should be like, you're both wrong. Right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's move on. Uh, once again, our guest is Allie Breen. You can reach her, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, on various social media platforms. Send us your love troubles. What else we got? Dear Allie, during an unrelated, sad, drunken moment, I hit up an ex girlfriend for nudes. Needless to say, she was furious. Oh. I apologized to her. We had just strongly redeveloped our friendship since our breakup a decade ago. How on earth do I repair the damage that I've done? Ugh. Time and uh, just... Distance? Yeah. Leave her alone for a while? Like, hey, look, uh, you, you don't have to respond. I just, I really am genuinely sorry. Yeah. And, uh, 
Uh, it won't ever happen and again. And also send nudes. <laughs> yes. No, no. Leave <laughs> me out. No, I prefer the older nudes. Don't send anything new. Uh. <laughs> Would you be upset if I called your mom? Oh. <laughs> she just got to let her be mad. I mean, she, yeah. So. Maybe he should just say, yeah, like Tom said, take it as a compliment. If 10 years later, I still want your nudes. <laughs> Things are good for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to betray your trust, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very serious. Okay, what's next? <laughs> good. Dear Allie, I've been with my girlfriend for three years. Occasionally, she'll have male friends in town, and she wants to go out with just them alone to catch up. I think at this point, I should at least be invited so I have the option of joining them, even if I'm just sitting silently while they catch up. What no, do you think? Sounds like a blast. Yeah. yeah. No, Why her, would you want to do that? You're, you're good, dude. She's with yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. A lot of guy friends. I, have, I understand this. Right. Don't worry about anything. You Christy, sit there and don't Christy, know any of the stories. Chrissy has all the friends. We all know it. I all of them. Yeah, but he would. You're right. He'd you be bored what? to I'm death. Yeah, why do you want to? Yeah, why? Uh, well, tell me more about some guy I never met. Hey, what he did in the dorm. You can do anything else. <laughs> you did in the yeah. dorm. <laughs> Plus, if you hear any of those past stories, you'll start wondering more, get more insecure. Right. They're just doing catch up. Don't be you're insecure. Fine. She's with you. Yeah, you're good. she wouldn't tell you she was going out with him if she was cheating. Exactly. She yeah. She would hide. Right. But you're right. Maybe Jess is right. Maybe he's worried that there's a bunch of past stuff that he doesn't know that he could get the tea on while well, they're... So what? It's not going to help. It's better not no, going. he's too insecure, though. Yeah, it was in the past. It doesn't matter about now. Hmm. Yeah. And some women are better friends with guys than girls. You know what? When she does this stuff, go to uh, one of your favorite restaurants that she doesn't care for. Watch one of your favorite shows that she doesn't like. Have some you time. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yeah, that place of chicken liver. What is it? Chicken liver and beavers. What is it called? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> go have some. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like Hooters, except they serve chicken liver and they... Go no bang somebody else, right? <laughs> <That sounds horrible. laughs> Do something for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have? That's now? hard to tell a guy, though. <laughs> Girls are all about self care and me time. Do yeah. guys really do that? Do I am. To I'm too. Top? I think so. I yeah. require okay. more me time than I do together. Me time? <laughs> <laughs> more me than we. Yeah. <laughs> you go to your favorite place, and you know, I'm going to need my sombrero. I'm going to El Snacho's tonight. <laughs> hey, they've got good margaritas. It's Who a nacho place yeah. that has the Joe's porn Who wants to go to El, <laughs> El Snacho's? Hey, man, this is Donnie Baker. If you just like that video, then do your part. Like and subscribe. You have to. It's state law.